I've been suffering quite badly from postpartum depression. What is happening right now pretty much sums up mum life. What are you doing awake, little one? I just need to readjust my brain a little bit. I just don't really know who I am anymore and I'm, I'm working on that. Good morning, guys. Today's update video is basically gonna be a little chatty, going through a load of stuff like my mental health, what's happening on this channel, just lots of stuff. Lots of stuff is happening, lots of stuff is changing. I've changed my mind on a few things, especially to do with Lexi, my little baby girl who is now six months. Where is that gone? Seriously. Put you down there. I've got this like toys everywhere. This little one six months old and as you can see uh yeah i'm i'm showing her i have changed my mind <laughs> about the whole um hiding her identity from my youtube channel um purely because i just was struggling with the filming filming two two lots of everything i was filming for my friends and family for the little raw updates that i do and i was filming obviously different for my channel and then it's taking ages to like go through everything meticulously and blur out her face and she's obsessed with my um opal <laughs> necklace <laughs> and yeah, so I've just decided like, oh, at the moment, when she's still like a small baby. She also absolutely loves the camera. <laughs> while the moment while she's just a little baby, um, I think it's gonna be okay to have her on my channel a little bit. And um, it's not like I have like millions of followers. I mean, I have like 200 people watch these, so I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it, baby girl? So anyway, I just wanted to have a really quick chat chat with you guys, if, um, if Le Lexi lets me. This actually could prove to be a little bit tricky because she is, uh, well, obsessed with the camera for a start. She absolutely loves it. Although I keep trying to get her to look into the lens and nod at the screen. <laughs> I will train her to be a YouTuber. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so, and basically, baby girl. <sighs> give you this one. Basically, since the birth, I did um, put this on Instagram. I'm just oh, gonna tilt me up a little bit. I did put this on my Instagram channel. Full disclosure, I've been suffering quite badly from postpartum depression, I, which hit me like a brick in the head. I, I wasn't expecting it. Um, it just kind of happened and I'll I'll do a video at some point about that um, because it, obviously I, t I need to dedicate more time to that and I'm not going to go into it right now but that is the situation and I, I would say I'm pretty good most of the time about 85 to 90 percent of the time I'm okay at the moment but then every now and then I have a day that just catches me off guard and it just I just I don't know the clouds descend and I can't do anything. I literally, I can barely even get out of bed. I I don't want to be around Lexi. I don't want to like go for a walk. I don't want to just, uh, nothing gets done. And I just have a really, really bad day. And I'm just trying to manage that at the moment, which um, I'm, I guess I'm doing okay. I'm trying to really, really focus on just having a little bit of each day for me. Now, the reason I brought this up is because I just, I guess I wanted just to explain why, I guess I haven't been creating quite as much content for my channel, putting quite as many stories out there as I would like, which also affects my mental health. It's kind of a vicious circle, really. <laughs> Lexi has been extremely squeaky. Um, I think this is the first ever time I've actually tried to film one of my videos with her awake. <laughs> She's not really doing that many naps at the moment, so I don't really have a choice. But yeah, the reason I wanted to just talk briefly about that was because I have not been making as many videos as I would like. Um, I've definitely been overthinking my channel as well a lot recently, um, which I've been struggling with. I've just, I have so many ideas, so much I want to make, so many mum's tips, so much just real raw content that there's just, I know 
there's a massive lack of it on YouTube as well. And even the people that are like, you know, they title yeah. something like raw and it's like, it's still so contrived. It's not, it's not really raw. Does that make sense? So I just am desperate to put some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate to put some of that out there and tell my stories <laughs> and um, the, the, What is happening right now is pretty much <laughs> What is happening right now pretty much sums up mum life you constantly have the mum oh, The mum guilt for doing things very half-hearted because you're trying to do two jobs and you're not doing either of them particularly well. Like right now, I'm not doing, I'm not filming the video particularly well. And I'm not looking after this one. So let's sort this one out. Let's put you in the push chair and let's take you for a walk, shall we? I think that'll be a good idea because it's definitely time for your nap anyway. Then you're gonna chill out. Have some fresh air? I think so, baby girl. Let's get you all bundled up. Let's get you all bundled up. <laughs> she just knows exactly what the camera is all about. Put that up there, there we go. There we go. She's all tucked up, ready to go. With a little elephant. All tucked in, all cosy. Lexi loves going for a walk. Oh, it's a bit sunny, isn't it, baby girl? A bit bright. Put that down. Yeah, this is a new thing. So I feel like we're gonna get struck by all that bad weather coming in. So this could be interesting. I know it's a little bit loud, but this is the walk that I do every day along the beach front by the ocean I'm pretty sure Lexi is asleep Sleeping baby My grand plan was to vlog a little bit as we're walking along, except that it's a bit windy. So I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> Might have to go tuck behind a wall somewhere to quickly chat. I've also propped the camera on top of the pram. It's blatantly gonna fall off. <laughs> but... <clears throat> yeah, I've been doing this walk every single day and listening to an audiobook got my, my old school headphones and yeah I still have a lead <laughs> wire I'm currently listening to mum face I've just been loving the mum real stories you know because it's just is so relatable and every time they bring up well almost every topic I'm like yes <laughs> that is exactly how it is I'm gonna see if I can go tuck in in this little alcove here alcove like wall i don't know what this building is but let's see if we can tuck in around there it's a little bit of shelter the main reason i've been doing this walk apart from the fact it's just really good for you is to try and get both my mental and my physical health back on track because quite frankly it's six months in postpartum she's six months old and I still feel really broken my body is just so broken I thought I'd be more fixed by this point and I'm really not and it's really getting me down it's really I'm really struggling with my mental health because of it so I just thought the other day instead of just feeling sorry for myself I'm gonna really try and start implementing little things little steps like drinking more water because I'm not the best at that and getting my steps up because I'd look at my step count on my watch at the end of the day and it'd be at like 4,000. That's not good. <laughs> Need to be doing more steps so I'm trying to up my goal. 
Lexi is awake. Oh, hello. What are you doing awake, little one? Mummy thought she was going to get a little bit of vlogging done. <laughs> but no. See, it was even a shake of the head. No, no, no. I think I'm going to have to start walking. But anyway, I uh, just quickly, I did share a story. I shared a reel on my Instagram. I'm trying to get into doing reels. I'm not very good at it. It's not my thing. But... Um, I'm just trying to, you know, just have fun with it, I guess. Anyway, I shared a reel about the fact that I basically still look like I'm six months pregnant. But I'll drop it in at the, at the side here. Um, and I think that was an attempt to try and reassure myself as well as just show that it, it is quite normal. You know, it, it's not, you're not supposed to just snap back to your body. I mean, when on earth do I have time to work out, look after myself? I just don't at all. Um, it is something I'm gonna try and work on. I think my problem is, is that I have this weird thing in my head that if I'm not doing like an hour workout and sweating lots and, you know, doing a full blown weight session, full-blown 6k run or whatever, then it's not worth it. But that is just not true, obviously. I think I'm just gonna have to start getting my head around the fact that I'm gonna have to just be fitting in like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, because I have a baby. I can't just try and do, well, I'm not gonna be able to fit in an entire hour of weights. It's just not gonna happen. So I just need to readjust my brain a little bit. Anyway, I better start walking again so this one goes back to sleep because she's only had like a 40 minute nap so far. Actually, just before we carry on, I wanted to show you this sculpture. The cow made out of metal and junk. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I quite like it. Also, it's really relatable at the moment because uh, this is what I feel like. A uh, cow just, you know, milking feeding time constantly. I'm obviously back from the walk now. We had some lunch, I was playing with Bubs for a little bit and she's now down for a nap, except I think she's waking up. I hope not, she needs a good nap. And also I need to get some stuff done. <laughs> it's yeah, everything's just got a bit hectic and I, I, if I'm honest, I'm really struggling to continue to do these behind the scenes, but I absolutely refuse to give them up because it's my one thing that I still have. Sorry, I keep, keep checking because she keeps moving. Um, it's the one thing that I still have that's me, you know, like so much has just gone in the, well, you know, since my life has just been turned upside down with moving to Australia and I don't know, getting married and then the pandemic and just correct, changing careers and it's just, yeah, there's, I just don't really even feel like, I didn't feel like myself before I had the bubs and now it's even worse. You know, there's so many parts of me. There's so many things that you guys don't even know. Like a massive part of my life is skiing and being in the mountains but I haven't had the chance to do that for so long now and it just feels like this distant memory and I just I just don't really know who I am anymore and I'm, I'm working on that um but yeah one thing I have to do this afternoon is something super super exciting but also super nerve-wracking I am going to book flights back to the UK to go and see my family. <laughs> I am, I've been waiting to do this for ages and now it looks like things are opening up in Australia. I feel like this is a good time to get them booked. I'm booking it for way into next year, for like April, but I just feel like I wanna get it done. And yeah, so that's, that's happening today. I'm just very anxious about it. I'll probably do a video about that again sometime. To be honest, this whole little update is basically videos that are going to be coming on my channel because there's so many, so many ideas. Um, I, I have a diary. This is one of the things I do is I have a diary and I just always write down all my ideas in here. And yeah, there's just, well, pages and pages of <laughs> video ideas. 
um, but I, I never really get around to making them because I just never have time. Another thing that's happening very soon, which you guys are either gonna love or hate. <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you what it is. Don't judge me until I have explained the reason, if that makes sense. So next week, Christmas decorations are starting. I know that this is super, super early. <laughs> the reason for this is, it just takes forever to do anything with the baby. We, we get like tiny, tiny little box of time, like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there. It's just insane how much our life has changed. So in order to actually get everything done in time, in any sort of a semblance of time, we're gonna have to just start super early, which I would never normally do. My rule is Christmas decorations do not go up until the first week of December. My birthday is in the first week of December and it's always been a tradition to put decorations up on my birthday. But yeah, since Bubs has arrived, we now have to be super, super organized and we are trying to work around the, the, the work schedule basically and we did a three week plan for the next three weeks basically coming up to the end of um, November. And if we don't fit it in next week, we can't fit it in because there's just too much going on. Tom's doing the South Australian knife show in Adelaide. He's been invited to do a stall there. So yeah, that's like the next two weeks is just a bit hectic. Um, and then we've got like a trip to the Riverland. And well, basically there's, there's loads of stuff happening. So. Um, between that and a couple of baby classes and stuff that we're doing. Next week is the only time that me and Tom have together to start everything. So I'm just going to get a lot of the big stuff done that I need him to help me with on Tuesday, I think it is. That leads in to my discussion about the Christmas special this year. I always do a Christmas special and I absolutely love it. It's pretty much... It's pretty much one of my favorite things on my channel. Even though I have so many films on my channel of all these amazing places, I just, I just love the Christmas specials. I don't, I don't know why. Last year when I was making them, I got so teary and upset when I was like looking back on my other Christmas specials because it was just, they're just so special. The Christmas specials are special. <laughs> I'm very sleep deprived, I'm sorry. Anyhow. As you can see, there is a lot happening and yeah, bear with me, please. <laughs> so on that note, I'm gonna start editing this little update before the bubs wakes up because I won't have any other time. Otherwise, <laughs> this is my life, constantly trying to fit in bits and bobs when I can. Um, yeah, it's just difficult. The mum guilt is real. <laughs> anyway, as I said, I'm gonna do I'm going to talk more about a lot of the things I have um, briefly um, brought up in this little update. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate you hitting the like button and I really appreciate comments. I love chatting to you guys. I know the people, you know who you are, that always comment and always just come and chat to me and it's just brilliant. I love our little community. So thank you and I will see you next time.